Hello everyone and welcome to Saurion. Now some of you guys who have been on the channel for a while may recognize this game. This is not the first time we've played it, but uh, if you guys have seen the previous Saurion season, then a lot of you guys are probably going, whoa, Jay, what happened? Where's Koros? So Koros was our first Dakota Raptor and uh, he got to be pretty old. He actually reached the super adult stage and uh, somewhere between the last season and now he went off and found a mate and uh, had children of his own. Now, unfortunately, as far as I know, that's not implemented in the game yet, so we weren't actually able to see it on camera. But we are actually now following little Hera, who is Koros's daughter. But Hera's gotten herself in a little bit of a predicament, and uh, she's, she's not in such a great spot. She's very, very young still, and somehow she's managed to get separated from her family and so she is a very very small very very young Dakota Raptor off here alone and she's got to learn to hunt and survive on her own here uh, hopefully without dying because as you can see she's already getting a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty and there is a pack of Cephalosaurus here <laughs> but I don't think we're gonna be able to take him down I think we're gonna have to pass on this one. We gotta find something a little bit, uh, a little bit more bite-sized for our dear Hura here. Otherwise, uh, she's not gonna fare too well. Oh, there we go. Uh, always, always the same problems. <laughs> Getting used to how to eat and drink in this game is a little bit difficult from sometimes. Um, so we're gonna leave this guy alone, and I think I'm gonna keep sniffing around here. This you can use scent view, and it does help a lot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep using our scent view here. What are you doing, sir? I don't think we're gonna get attacked, but I, I, I don't think we're gonna run away just in case uh, he gets any ideas about coming after us. Uh, but we're definitely not gonna be able to take him down at this, this age. Uh, our, our dear Hera's father had enough problems of his own trying to take these guys down even as an adult, so I'm pretty sure little Hera isn't gonna stand much of a chance. Uh, but we do need to find something to eat, and we probably need to find it pretty fast. There's some crocodiles over there. And actually, I think the shoreline doesn't go super far along here, so I think our best bet would be to try and traverse it here, because sometimes there's little birds that live along the edge of the water, or lizards, and in fact, I see something blue in the distance. Now, I'm pretty sure blue in this update means uh, something of interest. Oh yeah, look, there's something right there. Now, uh, Saurian has gone through quite a few updates since we last played it. We played a very early version, and there wasn't nearly the amount of content that we have now. Okay, we're gonna have to learn to stock up to these birds and try and catch them if we can. Okay, he hasn't seen us yet, but I think we're gonna charge him and bite, 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 bite. No, 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 oh man, okay. Darn it. Well, her hasn't had much experience as a huntress yet. Uh, she'll, she'll, get, she'll get stronger in time, I'm sure, but for now, uh, that, that meal has gotten away. <laughs> um, well, we'll have to try again. Thankfully, she's not starving yet, but we do need to find her some food, and pretty quickly. The sooner the better, for sure. Let's see. Is there still... There's still something up there. Um, now... Uh, this game definitely has updated quite a bit. It's been a while since we played it, and uh, there have been quite a few changes, so I know there's changes to some of the prey animals. I think there's even some new animals, um, and I think they have been working on improving a lot of the systems, and I, as far as I heard, their starting development on the uh, Pachycephalosaurus... Oh, there's something blue up there as well. We might want to check that out. Um, but as far as I know, they're starting development on the playable pack of Cephalosaurus as well. Those are those the ones that headbutt you. And uh, so that could be something pretty interesting to work with as well. Okay, we gotta get really close here. And we don't want it flying away. And we're gonna have to try and bite, 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 bite. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay, okay, we got it. Nice job, Hera. Okay, so, oh yes, and to eat in this game, you fill actually your stomach there. You can see that's what the the darker green bar is, and the lighter green bar is how full you actually are. So we can fill up our stomach as well, and our hunger won't decrease until the the full contents of the stomach go down, but you also have to have something in your stomach 
to uh, be able to fill it up, and it's not going to go up all at once. So uh, the ill effects of hunger can uh, plague you a bit. Now, there's something up here, and that can be kind of interesting to investigate. I don't know what it is. Uh, we're going to have to find out. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're, we're not in immediate danger of death right now. That at least is a good thing. And for being so young, I think her is doing a pretty good job of being out on her own. Uh, hopefully she'll be able to make it. After all, uh, <laughs> she uh, does take after her father in some ways. If you guys uh, remember Chorus's story, he didn't exactly get to stay with his parents for very long either, just for slightly different reasons. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen Chorus's story, definitely make sure you go check that out. We did a whole season on one of the earlier versions of Saurion, and uh, while there is quite a bit more content in the game now, that one was still very interesting, too. Now, as far as I'm understanding this, blue means food, and uh, so I think anytime we see any of this little, this blue thing, we should definitely go check it out because it could mean a little a little bit of a snack. And as you can see, our stomach contents are already, like we're, we're no longer digesting food. Our stomach is completely empty now. And is this one of those little lizardy things? I think it is. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep, it definitely is. And it went running again. All right, oh, he went off that way, okay. There's something here. Nope, we missed him. Darn it, these guys are so fast. And they are so hard to catch. Okay, uh, I've heard too they're working on tree climbing mechanics, and I don't think they're in the game yet. Um, or they might be in some partially implemented form. And it is now nighttime. All right, I think we can press C to go to sleep, and I think we'd be best off if we do that because, yeah, we can press C, and then there we go, and we can sleep. Now, it will drain some food, it will drain some water, but being out at night isn't necessarily the best thing in this game. There's a lot of scary things out there that would like to make a meal out of us, and so if we can make it to daytime, that's going to be a lot better. Although, oh, there's still something little right here. Oh, no, it's a ways off. Okay. So I think that reset what... F oh, yeah, I think it did that in the old version, too. Uh, resetting what food is around. Okay, there's something over there. And I think we'll go investigate it. There's also something there. That looks bigger. We're gonna make our way this way first, and then we'll go check out that larger thing. And there are crocodiles in the water. Or I call them crocodiles. I don't remember what the, the exact name is, but they're like a prehistoric croc kind of thing. <laughs> um, and so... Uh, we definitely want to avoid those. Those things are pretty nasty. They would love... What are you doing? <laughs> they would love to take a bite out of us if they could. So we definitely want to avoid them. Now, these little lizardy things, on the other hand, would be a great meal for us if we can only manage to get our claws on one. Will you stop, computer? I think we got it. We got it, didn't we? I think we did. Okay. Did we manage to eat? Yes. Is there more? There's still more food right there. I can't see very easily what we're uh, what we're eating or where it is because it's so small and it's kind of under all this underbrush. And I think we ate all the food that was there. Uh, but there's also something down here along the shore. It's another one of those little water bird things. So maybe we'll try and snag that as well. And then go check out what that larger one is. I prefer we have a pretty full belly when we do that. Look how fast our, our hunger is going down as well. Um, so there's a crocodile right there. There's, we don't want it to come after us, that's for sure. And uh, Hura is very interested in that bird. You can see it, she's wanting to look towards it all the time because she knows that it's uh, some nice food. This is uh, something she caught earlier. <laughs> and so she knows she has a nice chance of being able to get a nice snack here. Yes, we got it. We're definitely getting better at uh, being able to catch food for ourselves. And so we're going to eat up as much of this as we can and try to fill up as much as we can. I have a feeling that raptors probably ended up being something of a feast or famine sort of prey. <gasps> okay, we need to get out of here. That is a juvenile Dakota raptor. Oh, okay, what's, what's this yellow thing there? I think that was where the juvenile spawned. So we got to get out of here because um, a juvenile Dakota raptor is going to prey on us if it gets the chance, I think. Um, or maybe not because we're so young, but the, the older we get, the more those things are going to be a threat to us. 
and so we definitely want to move on. I think uh, I think Herod would very much have a sense of um, of not uh, not wanting to uh, to mess with that and being oh my going kind of oh my goodness you're not my family I'm gonna get out of here. So definitely definitely not something little Herod wants to mess with. Um, and I am probably greatly varied in how I'm pronouncing her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be something along the lines of Hera. And I keep variating the either side of that. It's going to take me some getting used to. Um, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a tricky name to pronounce for me for some reason. And I think what is that up there? That's just sunlight on the ground, isn't it? Does it stick around? Yeah, it sticks around, so it's not sent view anything. There's something over there, but are there there are crocodiles that are going to come after us if we try and go get it? I don't see any. It might be worth it to sneak over there and see what we can find. And I'm aware we didn't ever investigate the thing we said we were going to because that's when that uh, that other Dakota Raptor showed up. And I don't think little Hura wants anything to do with that. So we're definitely going to uh, to avoid that area for the time being. But I'm sure we'll find some other prey as well. I think that might have actually been the new creature because, or one of the new creatures. I think... I don't know exactly how many there are, but there have has been at least one creature added since the last time we played Saurion. And uh, I'm not sure of the details. I haven't... I, I, I went back and looked at some of the devlogs, but I didn't read them in great depth and detail because I didn't really want to get a whole lot spoiled. I kind of want to uh, to have the... Um, the, interest, the interesting experience of kind of exploring them for ourselves. And is that... That's a crocodile thing right there whatever these guys are actually called, um, sitting over there. Oh, we scared a bird as well, but thankfully we're not super hungry just yet. Uh, but let's see. Okay, press and hold C to sleep. This will save your game and cause eight hours to pass at the cost of a quarter of your current hunger and thirst stats. Okay. Time passed while sleeping will not contribute to your animal's age. Uh, so we're not ready to age up just yet. I think we're gonna we're gonna swim across here if we can, um, but yeah, I've kind of avoided some spoilers because oh, that's really cool. I forgot it did that with the camera, <laughs> um, but uh, I think we want to uh, to see if we can get. Oh no, are we able to get out? Oh no, she's stuck. Uh oh, this is not good at all. Okay, please tell me you can get out of the water here. Nope, um, we're gonna have to swim this way again and kind of get back out over there. But I've been. Avoiding some spoilers because I don't really want to, uh, I kind of like to go into it with a fresh mentality, if you guys know what I mean. I like to see if we can, uh, explore as we go along, and, uh, so that can be kind of interesting, but I think the, uh, I think the lizardy thing is from one of the newer updates, and, um, I think they might have some special dangers to them, if I'm remembering correctly, so if we check one out, we might have to be kind of careful. So I think we're going to head up this way, see if we can get out of the water here. Hopefully we can. There we go. We're up, we're up, we're up. Okay. I, I think I think Hera would want to get out of here as fast as possible. And she's able to, like, sneak under these trees, kind of. Yeah, she can hide in the base of the tree. I'm not sure that's really something we want to do, though. Um, but we've got to be very careful. Uh oh, I don't, I don't like it when stuff lags. That sometimes means, oh, that's a T-Rex. <laughs> yep, I was just gonna say that sometimes means something has spawned in. <laughs> and then I turn around and there's a T-Rex right beside me. Uh, yeah, I, I think, I don't think Kara wants anything to do with that nonsense. Nope, 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 definitely not. Um, there's some Pachycephalosaurus. Those guys shouldn't give us a problem. But uh, we're going to get out of here, that's for sure. And uh, I think she would be a little bit spooked and kind of just run for it and just be like, nope, 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 not messing with that today, not messing with that today. Um, not today, Mr. T-Rex. <laughs> and uh, so I think she would take off running, but we do need to get her back to a water source at some point in the near future. However, there's something over here, and I think that would probably pique her interest. And uh, she might go and uh, investigate a little bit over here and see... What exactly is here? Um, I think the tutorial has uh, been... I don't remember if it did this in the past or not, but I think it's been reworked to to certain situations will trigger um, different events, and so I think it'll give us information as we need it here. That's definitely bigger than the normal lizards, isn't it? I think this might be the new creature. 
All right, it's right up here. I think she would approach kind of cautiously because this thing is um, pretty big compared to what she's been looking at and uh, and what she's been hunting. But if she gets hungry enough, I think even something this size might be a good snack. Okay, so what is this thing exactly? It's showing up as blue. So I think that means that it's prey or something that would be considered generally a decent prey for our age range. And I think, oh, it's coming after us. It's coming after us. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I think she was kind of testing the waters there to see what it was going to do. Is that, oh, these are triceratops. Okay. Um, I think they're triceratops at least. Yeah, they're, I think they're supposed to be triceratops. There's other creatures that are kind of like them that, um, uh, that I, uh, I think that were similar that had different names. I think one of them is walking into a tree, but this is one of the changes too. I believe is that now these guys tend to spawn and wander in groups. I believe that's actually been implemented. If not, I know it's in the works and you can definitely see we have a group of four right here. Now I think her would want to keep her distance. She wouldn't want to get stepped on by one of these because, let's face it, she's a really small raptor. <laughs> Those guys are really, really big. And uh, I'm sure when she was still with her family, she heard plenty of stories of Chorus's uh, adventures with the Triceratops. And uh, I think she, she would know enough to, uh, to say no thank you and to get out of there and avoid those uh, big stompy feet. <laughs> and that's a T-Rex again. All right, he's pretty far away, so we're going to stick to the cover here and try to uh, try to scoot this way. I don't want to use all of our stamina in case we actually do have to, like, legitimately run away from something, um, but it doesn't hurt to run a little bit. All right. Oh, sleep to advance to the next growth stage. All right, I think we're going to do that here, <laughs> and we'll let her grow up. I don't know how much this is going to affect her hunger, but I think... I think, there we go. So we're now up to juvenile already. All right, so we can do, we can use raptor prey restraint now. Okay. All right, this is a good thing. So, okay, so her is growing up. We shouldn't have as many problems with, um, with hunting, I hope. Although the smaller prey isn't going to fill our bellies quite as well. Um, but we're also still quite uh, small and vulnerable too. So that's potentially a danger. Uh, what we want to do, though, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a water source because, as you can see, we are getting thirsty, and if you get stranded too far away from the water in this game, it's a virtual death sentence. So we basically want to find, oh, perfect, we want to find an area that's going to have a good water source, and here is a swamp. Now the question is, is this the saltwater swamp that we've encountered? Because if it is then this isn't going to do us any good. In fact, it's actually going to take away our water if we drink from it. So we'll have to be careful because if this is the saltwater swamp, then uh, we could be in some trouble. So we'll probably take a little bit of a drink of water, but even the saltwater uh, salt um, swamp here, if we uh, venture far enough along it, will... Um, Okay, those are just Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, it'll eventually lead to a freshwater swamp as well, but we need to see what it is. And night is falling. I'm not super happy about that because as night is falling, what do you see? You're seeing something. Okay, that's one thing with this game is you definitely want to trust your instincts here because if you watch your raptor's head, they will turn and track towards any sort of prey item. Do we get We got it. We got it. We got a lizard. Okay. Uh, but they'll turn and he their head will track the nearest prey item. And so you want to be very attuned to your raptor and what they're looking at because if they're turning their head toward some sort of a, like if they're turning their head in a direction other than straight ahead here, it usually means that there's something of interest nearby. And our food does go down really fast, or at least the, the fullness bar does. So you want to be very attuned to that. That can make a huge difference. It's also getting to be nighttime. I really don't like the nighttime. <laughs> it's not uh, not such a good um, not such a good time because it's really hard to see if something's coming for you. So we're gonna try and get a drink here. This might be salt water, and so that if that's the case, we're just gonna have to follow the marsh a little ways further up. 
And no, thankfully it's fresh water. So this marsh may actually be a really good place to hang out and uh, let little Hera grow up a bit more because uh, I think definitely here, um, this if we can find food, at, assuming that we can find food here, which, oh, it looks like there is in fact some food. Uh, but if we can find enough food and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of threats, I'm not really seeing anything major. What is... Oh, and I had to open my mouth. Um, that's a T-Rex. All right, Hura, we're going to go this way. <laughs> um, definitely heading this way. Uh, not not going to mess with any of that nonsense, but as long as we can evade the large threats, we should be good to go. And in fact, I think we'll probably find a little area and try and uh, sleep through this night because that would really help. Oh, but first of all, I think Hura sees some food. Now, does she see food? No. Okay, whatever she was tracking, it's gone now. Um, and I think we're actually going to find a little place to uh, wrap up the episode and sleep through the night. Uh, so we'll, we'll find some somewhere sort of safe and then end this off. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see me play more Saurian. I know a lot of you guys were really bummed out when the, the uh, last series kind of slowed off. Uh, we did that because it was basically the same gameplay over and over and over again. And um, I kind of wanted to give the game a chance. Is this salt water? Yep, that's salt water. Okay, we definitely don't want to be here. Uh, but I kind of wanted to give the game a, a chance to add some more content before I uh, continued on. Oh, this is salt water too. Okay, we got to get back to the edge of the marsh. All right. Um, but I wanted to give the game a chance to kind of grow in the content that it had before we kept playing it because uh, we got through a lot of the content that was there and uh, it, it started to become very, very repetitive. So, oh, and it's nighttime. <laughs> Assuming that this is normal water... It is. Okay, good. So this part of the, the, the marsh is a little bit safer. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to give the game a chance to grow a little bit more before we uh, we went back into it. And I think it definitely has done that. So we'll get to have the chance to grow and explore a little bit more. But in the meantime, here's a nice little spot. Seems pretty safe. And I think we're going to settle down here. We'll let her get some rest. And uh, we'll be back next time. Uh, definitely let me know if you want to see some more of this. And if you guys do want to watch some more in the meantime before the next episode comes out, you can check out the previous, uh, the previous season as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap up here for today and end this episode off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.